relationship management tool that you can use embedded inside the platform for managing leads, tasks, invoices, and earn even more and more easily. As you will see, this CRM is extremely easy to use, but at the same time, very complete, allowing you to perfectly track customers, send them proposals, have them pay their invoices, and close the more deals faster and more efficiently. Okay, let's start. To get to the embedded CRM, you can click on the CRM button here or in the left menu bar. The first thing you see is the list of campaigns. As a quick starting note, this CRM works in campaigns. You can create as many campaigns as you want and each one will have its list of leads and other customized options. To see how all this works, let's start by creating a new campaign. Let's click on this button and in this pop-up, we could choose to use a ready-made campaign selecting one from this drop-down right here. We don't want to choose a template campaign and we want instead to create one from scratch. For example, for tracking proposals for our web marketing services, we will send it to real estate agents. So let's create a campaign by giving it a name and a description, then optionally specifying which other users of our platform have access to it. And here we can then specify the fields that leads records in this campaign will have. For example, name, address, email, and so on. The next step is pretty important. Each campaign has a funnel with a set of steps, basically the status of each lead, that will help you follow customers and convert them more effectively. So in this section here, we can specify what steps we want in the funnel for this specific campaign. For example, we can start with prospect, then lead, then interested, and so on, down to won or lost. Okie dokie, let's save this campaign and let's go use it immediately. Let's go back to the list of campaigns and uh, here it is. Let's click on it and uh, here they are, the funnel steps that we have just created in a nice and very useful Kanban format where each step is a list of its own. If we prefer, we can also show our leads in a more traditional list format, like this. Good, it's time to create our first lead. Let's click on the green button and let's start adding details to this lead. As you see here, we have the fields we have specified when we have created the campaign. Name, address, email, etc. And here we have all the steps in the funnel. Now that it is saved and added to the CRM, we can start working on this lead. Here we see the details we just entered. And here we have the first cool thing we can do to a lead, add notes. This is quite useful for reminding calls, emails, or anything else we want to add to a lead so that we, or somebody who has access to this lead, for example, one of our agents, can have a history of things done to it. Another extremely important section are tasks. No CRM can be useful if it didn't allow leads to have tasks attached, working as a reminder for calls, emails, or any other action that needs to be done for each lead. We can therefore specify a due date for each task and then enter whatever we want in the details field, just like we have done for the nodes before. Now that we have covered two pretty standard elements, we can see a couple of quite revolutionary tools that only the CRM offers you, proposals and invoices. As the name suggests, a CRM is a tool for managing customers, and so the proposals feature is actually meant to help you do that. In this section right here, you will have a complete system for easily creating documents that you can share with your customers, get comments about, and have them sign and accept. While you will find an in-depth tutorial about this specific tool in the help section of the platform, let's quickly see how this thing works. First of all, we create a new proposal giving it a name, a description, and setting the other details. Then we can start adding sections. For example, a cover page where we can upload our logo and specify the customer and our company details. Down here, we have a few predefined sections that we can fill with data. For example, a title, a subtitle, and then some contents that we can fully customize. We could also add links, images, change style, and more. A quite usable section is the costs part where, for example, after having set a title, we can add a small intro text. And then we could include a table with the pricing information about this proposal, like this, on two rows and two columns, for example. By highlighting the table and then clicking on this button, we can also center it. 
Okay, now that we have added all contents, we can save this proposal and view it. This is how we see it as the owners of this proposal, but the real magic happens when we share the link to this proposal with one of our customers. First of all, we need to put this proposal in ready status proposal in draft that can only be seen by us. And then let's, for example, open a new browser window and see how our customer will see this proposal like this. You see, the right box is different. We still have the USPDF button, but now there is also this accept and sign green button. If the customer clicks on it, he can literally sign the proposal right there just by moving his mouse in this white box. Isn't this awesome? Once signed and accepted, we get an alert and the proposal is marked as signed. We can now see the customer's signature here. We can also open it to see it bigger or download it and print it. And if we go back to delete the details, we see that this proposal is now in status signed. And so we are ready to proceed with the next step and section. Invoices. Oh yes, proposals are just half the fun. The rest is actually getting paid. You can manage payments and billing for each lead by using the invoices section right here where, yes, you, can, you guessed, you can create and manage invoices. Creating a new invoice is extremely easy. You can fill the billing details for this customer, then you add the product details such as the name and pricing info, and finally customize taxes and other payment details. And voila! The invoice is now ready and just like you did for proposals, you can send the link to your customer. He will see the invoice in a nicely formatted pages like we are doing here. He will also be able to download it as PDF and more importantly, he will be able to pay it online using the payment system and details you have set up for your platform right in his browser. No more missed invoices, money loss or documents to, that you need to find everywhere in your computer and folder. It is all in one place. Going back to the CRM and to the list of leads, the Kanban view makes it really easy to manage statuses. All you have to do is move a record in the funnel and drag him from one step to the other, like this. Keeping track of your business and sales has never been easier, and you even have a constant reminder of tasks to complete every day in the header bar. With a quick link to the correct campaign where you can open the lead, check the things you have to complete, and mark them as done. You can also have a list of completed tasks by clicking here. And this is all for this tutorial. This was a very quick intro to the CRM system you have at your fingertips, but it should have given you a clear picture of what you can do. Now it's up to you to use it to manage leads, create some proposals, track invoices, and earn money. The tools and features are there, ready to be used to help you grow your business. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.